Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nsova and today I'll be talking about one of the properties that differentiate headsets, which is either the headset is wireless or it's tethered or it can actually be both. So let us start with wireless headsets. So wireless headsets are also known as standalone headsets. They are cordless and they don't require a VR ready PC in order for them to run. So they basically can run on their own. So there's two types of wireless headsets. You've got those that require a smartphone um, to use as a display and those that actually have a built-in display. So an example of a smartphone VR headset is the Bubble VR. So as you can see, you've got a, a, a compartment here where you can slide in your phone. So you would typically have a phone um, and obviously with the display and you slide in the phone um, in order for you to be able to, you know, see the content of the VR app that you, you, you're accessing. So the quality of your VR experience when using a smartphone VR headset is dependent on the quality of your phone screen. So I think I've spoken about this, that you actually need a high resolution screen in order to have a better experience. Um, so, I mean, this is a Samsung A22. It's, um, I think the resolution is about 1080 by 2 point something, which is around, you know, the starting point of uh, resolutions if you want to get a better VR experience. So, yeah, typically what you would do, uh, you know, you would get... Um, Download the app on your on your phone. Then with your VR headset, you need to pair the two. You then put in the phone in in the headset, uh, and um, well, you would have already you know started the app, the VR app, and then you start experiencing. So you know, like the Bobo VR has a remote control as well, which will help in terms of navigation. Uh, when it comes to the pros, it's very easy to use. It's relatively cheap. I will. I would think it's relatively cheap. And I think I'm using the word relatively because, I mean, the cost of the smartphone itself is not cheap um, if you want a high resolution smartphone. So combined, I mean, looking at the bubble VR and the phone that um, that I have combined, I probably spent about um, 3.4 plus 2,000, about close to 6,000 really. Um, so, I mean, if you look at it, you know, um, you'd want to compare it to, you know, getting an Oculus, which is two triple nine, two double nine dollars, <laughs> two nine nine dollars. Um, and I think the ones that I bought, I probably paid about um, six point something plus shipping, plus, 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 you know, I don't know how much of the total cost. But essentially, when I look at it, you know, I'm just like, mm, I think I would, you know, save a little bit more and buy that Oculus Quest 2. Um, yeah, so now let's get into um, the, the headsets that have a built in screen. I've already mentioned the Oculus Quest 2 that has a built-in screen and it is it is wireless. But the Oculus Quest 2 is actually both wireless and tethered, which is quite great. And I'll speak to that um, in another video in terms of um, how how it works because it actually you can you can also tether the Oculus Quest. 2. Quest 2 wirelessly, which is quite great. On the Oculus, the screen is actually built in here. Um, and this is basically an example of an all-in-one VR headset. It has, um, you know, the it has cameras, it's got sensors in here, it's got the, the processor in here, the display in here, the battery in here. Um, so yeah, pretty much an, an all-in-one. So there's no need for you to basically you know, have a, a, a great smartphone because the screen here is already built in and it, it's of high, very high resolution. So yeah, so this is an example of, you know, what a built-in display VR headset would look like. So for me, the pros really is the fact that you need it's convenient since the screen is built in, you don't need a separate smartphone. So you can use your smartphone for something else. Um, and when it comes to the cons, um, I would say that, you know, less processing power, um, poor, uh, poor uh, uh, graphic qualities or quality of the graphics. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I guess, you know, the battery life. So, you know, if the battery, if, if you run out of battery whilst you're still busy, then you need to take away, you need to stop your game rather, and then, you know, charge it. And then as opposed to the tablet, which is connected to the, to the, um, to the PC and then it can be like charging at the same time.
But anyways, guys, so those, that, those are the, um, the two types of the wireless. And now let's get into the tethered VR headsets. Tethered VR headsets basically require a cable, as I mentioned, um, to connect the VR headset to the, the PC. And the PC has to be VR um, ready. Um, you guys can check out, I'll probably do a video on what it means to have a VR ready PC. So you would typically have, you know, um, a pot where you can connect your cable to the, um, the PC and your VR experience is basically transferred from the PC to your VR headset via the cable. But like I said, the Oculus Quest 2, you can also do that um, wirelessly. You don't need a cable. However, wireless, you know, you're Sorry, my battery died. <laughs> so wireless, you run the risk of um, basically um, a slower transmission rate if, as opposed to the cable. As you know that, you know, with wireless, con the connection can, you know, be, be disturbed for different reasons. Um, yeah, so um, Tethered is great also. Be well, it's great because, you know, the, um, the, the, the pressing power is high. Oh, one thing I need to mention is that your PC needs to run as close very close to 90 frames per second because in order to have a better experience your 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 refresh rate needs to be 90 hertz um i'll speak about the refresh rate in a different video but um anything less than that you run the risk of actually experiencing motion sickness so and that's one of the like the refresh rate is one of the qualities um that you need to look at when you're setting up your pc so that it can be vr ready um yeah so the pros of this you know great graphics and um the games the certain games that um are basically not available for the, the um, for for headsets that are not you know connected to a PC, um, and these these games have like very high um, graphic quality and you, they can only be supported by a VR ready PC. So that's a pro that you know that you get even a much better experience you know when you're using tethered headsets. One of the cons that one of the other cons I, I know it's it's now no longer relevant and used to be relevant before is the fact that you know your your peers can see you working. I mean using the um, uh, your peers can see you in the VR experience. Uh, but I mean now with the Oculus Quest 2 that is possible with casting or which I also speak to in a different video on how that works. Um, yeah, and then the cons um, of the tethered is that, you know, you're on a cable, you know, in order for you to have bigger movements, um, you need a very long cable, which comes with an extra cost. And also the cables, the length of the cables are also limited. You know, you're not going to get like a, a, I don't know, uh, 20 meter, actually, let me not, let me not lie because I haven't checked. <laughs> I've seen three meters and five meters on Amazon uh, when I was looking to buy one, but I don't know if you can get like a 20 meter cable. Uh, but yeah, so that limits you as opposed to a wireless one. And also, I mean, the fact that, you know, you need a VR ready PC, um, that is also like a big cost, you know, um, as opposed to, you know, for instance, like the ones that just need a smartphone. Uh, if you're ready PC means, you know, Quite a lot of money is going to come out of your pocket. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I'm so sorry. Um, I've been, because of low shedding, you know, I had to stop shooting. And then now uh, the light, the quality of the lighting changes from daytime to nighttime. Actually, it's, it's sort of like sunset time right now. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Is there anything that I missed, you know, um, in terms of the differences that you can point out to the community? Please point it down on, on I'll write it down on the comments. Um, also, just anything that you'd like me to, any content that you'd like me to um, to give when it comes to um, more educational videos and not so much of reviews, please do um, comment down on the, on the comment section. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day, evening, morning, whatever it is, whatever time it is on your side. Cheers.